Hey guys, I'm going to do a really quick video on these Prismacolor Premier um, brush markers that I got. Um, I believe you get 48 in the set. Um, they come like this. You get two little, um, um, two little, two little cases like this. There's a little handle here. You can carry it, and then it opens like this. Nice. It will also fold up and there's like a string here you pull and then it creates like a little a little stand for you. I'm not going to get into all that, but yes, it's very handy. If you have a big desk, you put it on there. Um, but I just usually leave them flat like this. You get a really beautiful assortment of colors. All the blues and greens, browns and flesh colors. And then on this one... You have all your yellows and your warm. There's a blending pen in here. Oranges and reds, blues, purples, and then some pinks and some more fleshy colors. You get a really good assortment. So, with that being said, let me show you what they look like. Let me put one to the side here. Here's my swatch I did. Let me go up, pick up a little bit. Um, okay, I love these. I think they're so beautiful. See, the colors are gorgeous. They have really cool names, too. Really pretty. So let me show you a couple of them. All right, you just grab one that's a little um, dark. Here's purple. All right, I have two problems with these markers. Okay, my first problem is um, sometimes they are very, very hard to open. The caps are crazy tight. Um, on the marker, you can see that there's the wide right here. So, you know, that's the uh, wide brush tip. And then they got the little um, thin line right here. So, you know, that's the little... Uh, pointy one. So let me open it up. Um, that one wasn't too bad to open. So you got the brush tip here. And it's not like felt. It's almost um, rubbery feeling. You can get a nice line with it on the side. You can get a thin line. You can draw with it a little bit. Stuff like that. Um, the colors are beautiful. They do blend. I mean, they do not blend. They bleed. Not well. That's two pages. That's not good. They do bleed. Okay. So always protect your work. And then, see, they're hard to get back too sometimes. And then we got the little pointed edge. My lighting is terrible tonight. It's been storming again in Louisiana. And um, it's really dark outside. All right, and so I've got the little pointy edge here. And this one's really hard to tip. So it's really good for, um, um, you know, writing and details, stuff like that. Really nice. Um, and my second problem with these is... Um, I have really, really bad asthma, and um, these pens have an odor, and it set it off so bad one night that I just, it was bad. It was really bad. I couldn't deal with it, and it was so bad that um, I'm giving these away, so um, I like the rubber side better, too, because it, I don't know, more coverage. Um, I'm just like playing with them. I love them. I don't want to give them away, but like right now I'm like, whew, I need to vent this room. So before I have a, another serious asthma attack, I'm going to close these up. Again, you get two little cases. You zip up like that. There's a little um, hook right here if you wanted to hang them up somewhere. And like I said, if you're going somewhere, you can... You got a little handle right here. 
and it was a very reasonable price for this quality of markers um, with the cases and everything. So um, let me show you one more time the really beautiful colors. I think you guys will like them a lot. And I paid for these. Nobody sent them to me. I wish. So yeah, really beautiful. I'll post the link to where I purchased these. And if you have any questions, just put them down at the bottom and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't hit that sub button, please do it down here. And um, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.